Oh my God, Kim, close the window. There's way too much snow coming in because today is my 2019 video game buyer's guide where I'm gonna go through every single system on a home console and talk about some games that I recommend buying to family and loved ones over the holiday season. Now there's a lot to get through today, so I'll be looking at each game very, very quickly. And also, I'm gonna give some other recommendations to buy for friends or family members and loved ones this Christmas that I think are highly recommended. I'm gonna recommend some vinyl records, some toys, some Dungeons and Dragons stuff, some books, and some movies that are all kind of geek related if you wanna call it that, so let's get started. Now we're gonna start with the Nintendo Switch and there's quite Quite a few amazing games released this year. One of my favorites that I highly recommend is Astral Chain by Platinum. This is a crazy, over-the-top, anime-style action-adventure game set in a world where mankind has disappeared and you're part of this police unit trying to reclaim the world. And a high recommendation with this game, a lot of fun. Now, for all the RPG fans out there, you have to pick this game up. It is the definitive edition. It is Dragon Quest XI-S on the Nintendo Switch here. This is a true amazing Dragon Quest game, one of the best games released in the series so far. Uh, in this version, we have better music, and we also have a 2D version of the game, so you can play it old school style, but a big recommendation for Dragon Quest XI. And for another massive RPG experience, it's gotta be The Witcher 3, the complete edition. This game will keep your family members busy till next Christmas and I can't believe what they've done with the port onto the Switch. It looks really, really good. High recommendation there. Another big recommendation is Mario Maker 2. This is for the creative people out there who want to build their own Mario levels and this is an extension of the Wii U game. This is the definitive edition for now on the Switch and it is amazing. There's so many options. There's so many ways to build incredible levels and your family members can play the levels you've created you can torture them it's gonna be really really a fun Christmas now the next game got released on Halloween but it's great for any time of year and that is Luigi's Mansion 3 this is the third one in the franchise and the very very best one in the franchise where Luigi goes into a haunted inn and is overrun with ghosts and you can slam ghosts and you have another character Guigi who can squeeze into places that Luigi can't. You can also play in co-op with your friends and it also has a really robust set of multiplayer features in here. So you'll get your money's worth out of this game, but the single player adventure alone is so much fun. Do you know any family members that are Final Fantasy fans? Old school Final Fantasy fans? Well, I can recommend this. Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, came onto the Nintendo Switch. It's a really great port of a game that came out quite a few years ago. Final Fantasy X and X-2 is also out as well. These are great if you want to revisit the past Final Fantasy games. And some of these games came out nearly like 18 years ago. It's hard to wrap your head around now. For more RPG goodness, I recommend Tales of Vesperia by Bandai Namco. Now this is an older RPG. It's got the remastered treatments. And this is a really great underappreciated RPG that I'm so glad is on the Nintendo Switch. It's also on the PS4. A really big recommendation. And it's on the cheaper now as well. Next up is Pokemon Sword and Shield. And me and my wife are playing this version right here, Shield. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like a bit of an open world. We go around and catch Pokemon like the past games. This is the next installment in the popular franchise. And yes, there's been a lot of controversy with it. And I totally understand that. But honestly, for new players and things like that. They're really gonna enjoy this game. There's a lot of monsters to collect, a lot of Pokemon to collect, and you'll have a lot of fun doing it. Now this next recommendation is for old school RPG fans. If you're a fan of the Game Boy or the Super Nintendo or in Japan, the Super Famicom, I recommend this, the collection of mana. This is great. It has the old Game Boy game on it, the original. It also has Secret of Mana on here from the Super Nintendo and Seiken Densetsu 3 
also known as Trials of Mana, and I finished that game this year for the very first time, and it was magical, and I think it's a really good recommendation for anybody who likes older games, especially the Mana series, and I, I can't recommend this enough. Now, the RPGs keep coming here with Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. This is a port of the PlayStation 3 version for the Nintendo Switch, and it's great. This is a classic RPG, kind of like Pokemon style combat, but a really great JRPG world. And it's so amazing to see the vastness of this world. And it's also created by Studio Ghibli, and uh, a high recommendation on this game. Now we're getting away from RPGs for a second to recommend an action game, an old school action game from the Super Nintendo era. It's kind of got a bit of a remastering, a bit of a remake in the form of the Ninja Saviors here. This is Return of the Warriors. And this is one of my biggest recommendations of the year for the Nintendo Switch because I played the originals. I played the arcade game. I played the Super Nintendo game. Originally back then it was called the Ninja Warriors. And this is kind of a remastered version of that with some new uh, Ninja Warriors. The levels are more widescreen now. Beautiful music, really fun action, controlling the Ninja Warriors, going through side view levels, fighting wave after wave of enemies. Huge recommendation for this one. Definitely pick this up this Christmas. And this little game came out in the middle of the year and we were all surprised by it. We didn't think it was gonna be this good and that is Fire Emblem Three Houses. This is the special edition of the game, but I recommend just the regular version of the game. It's an overhead strategy RPG by Nintendo and wow, the only thing that I will say is you have no idea what's coming with the story. It's gonna surprise you, but it's also about the strategy. There's a lot of really great mechanics in here. It starts off in a school, and it's so much fun to interchange certain characters and do battle here. And there's also crazy monsters in the game as well. And now we have a very, very sweet little game here called Zelda Link's Awakening. This is a remake of the old Game Boy game. And how is this? How is this compared to Breath of the Wild, where if you haven't bought a family member Breath of the Wild, definitely get that, do that for them this Christmas, but also pick them up Link's Awakening. This is such a beautiful little game, very cartoony, beautiful overhead graphics, very pastel -y. I love it. The world is so much fun to explore. There's challenging puzzles, lots of weapons, lots of items to collect. Oh my God, and an ending that I'm still thinking about to this day. And I really want to say, pick up Link's Awakening this Christmas and have a magical time. And I also have something else I would recommend as well. It is the Link's Awakening Amiibo. It's a beautiful little Amiibo that was released. I, I'm not kidding you. What a cute little Link that is. I absolutely fell in love with this character design. So that's for the Nintendo Switch, but also another recommendation for the Nintendo Switch is this device right here, the Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, a lot of you might ask, what exactly is this? Where it's a Nintendo Switch all in one. So you don't need the dock. You can't uh, detach the Joy-Cons. It's all one unit. Uh, this is really great if you travel a lot, if you're on the bus a lot or in a car a lot, or you're traveling between countries. This is a really beautiful little device. The screen is gorgeous. And here's the device itself. A big recommendation for the Nintendo Switch Lite. I've had a lot of fun playing this. And it's great if you have multiple family members that are all trying to share the Nintendo Switch and you're like, there's not enough Nintendo Switches to go around. Well, get one of these. It'll solve that problem just fine. Now we move on to the PlayStation 4. A small amount of recommendations going on here. I want to start by saying I recommend Resident Evil 2. This is one of the greatest horror games of the year. So if there's any family members out there that like the Resident Evil series or like really scary, creepy games, this is the best. This is a remake of the PlayStation 1 game. They did a phenomenal job. So big recommendation there. Also, if you are a fan of Dragon Quest, I recommend Dragon Quest Builders 2. My wife spent 200 hours playing this game. This is like a Minecraft style of game where you can completely build your own castles and your own little communities. And it was so much fun to watch my wife play it and see some of the buildings and places that she created. Now we're in Star Wars season again. We have a new Star Wars movie coming out at the end of the year. We have The Mandalorian playing on Disney Plus. And so some of you might be in a bit of a Star Wars mood where 
you can really enjoy and fulfill that experience with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This is an excellent Star Wars game, and it's been a long time since we've had a Star Wars game that we can say this. This is a single player action adventure game where there's a lot of play mechanics in here. This is by Respawn Entertainment, the guys who did Titanfall, and they've done a really exceptional job. The recommendation is high for this one. The reviews are high for this one. Everybody's talking about Jedi, the Fallen Order. I think it's gonna be a big game this Christmas, so recommendation there. Okay, this game is on the cheap now, and I recommend picking it up. It is Kingdom Hearts 3. This is a great game combining Disney characters and Square Enix characters all in one and creating a really crazy storyline, but a really fun action adventure game. And I recommend this for all family members, really. It's a very easy game to get through. You'll have a lot of fun. The worlds are imaginative. A lot of it stems from past Disney games. And you really, realistically, you don't need to play the first few to enjoy the third game. You can just jump in there and have a good time. Now, I recommended this on the Nintendo Switch. Switch, I'll recommend this on the PS4, Tales of Vesperia, the definitive edition. This is a phenomenally great RPG, an old school game that I think everybody should really check out and play. All right, we're getting into fighting games and I'm really happy to say we have a fighting game here because this is based on an old school, early 90s fighting game called Samurai Showdown or in Japan known as Samurai Spirits. We got the brand new PS4 version of Samurai Showdown. And I gotta say, I had so much fun playing this. So they have a lot of the old characters from the original game and a lot of the old stages, but they've updated them and made them look very, very modern. It plays extremely well. And it also gives you that nostalgic pull from the past, but with a great brand new aesthetic look for 2019. So Samurai Showdown, Big recommendation. Now, I recommended Resident Evil 2 there. Capcom, who created that game, has been having such a great year. They also released Devil May Cry 5, and we kind of all held our breath and said, is this game gonna be really good? Oh yeah, it is really good. It's an action adventure game in a world gone wrong, and it follows up the past games really great. It introduces a few new characters, but just the world setting and some of the puzzles and things that you have to figure out to get through some of this, Oh my God, you'll have such a fun time biting the demons of the world. So high recommendation for Devil May Cry 5. Okay, this is a fun one. And this is one that I really want to recommend highly to anybody out there, if you know anybody as well, who's into flight simulator games, and especially like F-14 combat simulating games. A great game came out in the beginning of the year. It also has PlayStation VR compatibility, if you have that, and that is Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. This is a wonderful game that I spent a lot of time playing. I've always liked the Ace Combat series. I really enjoy it. I love flying around in the planes and dogfighting and shooting missiles, and it's so much fun. When I played it in VR, I was like, Oh my God, as I'm launching off an aircraft carrier, I'm like, I can't believe this game. And I think it's one of those games that went under, no pun intended, everybody's radar. And I have another thing to show you here. For anybody who is interested in buying this, why not pick up the flight stick as well? I tried this out with the game. It controls extremely well. It really gives you that feeling of feeling like you're really in a cockpit and Doing it in VR was even more surreal. It was a little bit hard to figure out all the buttons you're doing in VR, but just as a standalone to play the regular game, big recommendation for this. Now, another game that went under the radar for a lot of people was a game created by Sega, and that's called Judgment. This is a really great action adventure, kind of RPG, where you're an investigator running around in Tokyo and you're beating the crap out of people. This is awesome. If you've ever played a Yakuza style of game, this is kind of like a guidance style to that. And big recommendation of Judgment. You'll really enjoy this game a heck of a lot. Now, this game came out quite a few months ago. It's called Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And here's my Kickstarter version of the game, but you can buy the game on the Nintendo Switch and on the PS4. Uh, big high recommendations for Bloodstained. I recommend the PS4 version. Uh, the Switch version has had some issues, but this is a great game. It's by Koji Igarashi, the creator of Castlevania. So it's a side view action adventure game. 
oh my god, it's it's really good with RPG mechanics in there. And it's kind of a Metroidvania, if you've ever heard of that. And what that kind of means is it puts you in a huge castle and you get different abilities that will open up different sections of the castle. So you're going back and forth all the time and you want to get 100% completion of the castle. I think I'm at like 99.8 or something like that, somewhere in there. But big recommendation, I finished this game, love it to death. Now, some other games that I would recommend are the Trails of Cold Steel. These are RPGs. There's like one and two here. So these are the special editions that got brought out by Xseed. And then, here we go by NIS America. This is, I know you can't tell what this is. This is Trails of Cold Steel 3. This is the latest game in the series. And this is a beautiful RPG series. This is a really big game, huge cult audience. People love this game. The reviews are in, everybody says, how great it is. So if you're a JRPG fan, or you know anybody who's into JRPGs, check out this series, Trails of Cold Steel. Now, what is left for Xbox? Where it was one action game that came out this year that was really, really good. And that is Gears of War 5. Yes, number five. We're hitting number five for a lot of these series, but my God, I was a fan of Gears of War 1. So I was a bit skeptical. I played Gears of War 1, 2, and 3. I didn't play 4, and then I jumped into 5, and I was like, this is really good. I mean, some of the best graphics that I've seen this generation, it's really something else. And also, the multiplayer is ridiculous. Horde mode, incredible. So if you're a big fan of Gears of War, know somebody else who's a fan of Gears of War, pick them up, Gears of War 5. Now, this small release got released this year, no pun intended, and that is the Sega Genesis Mini by Sega with over 40 classic games and a couple of bonus titles as well. So if you know anybody that grew up in the late 80s that had one of the bigger Sega Genesis's, well, you know what? You can pick them up this and put this under their tree and they can relive Christmas from 1989 all over again and play some classic titles like Altered Beast, Alex Kidd. I mean, the list goes on and on, Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, I can just read all the back here. There's so many amazing games, Fantasy Star, so make it somebody's Christmas this year, put this under the tree. So maybe this year you're trying to buy stuff for somebody who has everything video game related. Where do they have this? Do they have video game soundtracks on vinyl? Uh, these are from Data Discs. I'll put a link uh, below because uh, these are big recommendations for me. Afterburner, really great classic arcade game there. Streets of Rage 3. These are just some of their newer releases. The Metal Slug series from Neo Geo. And also, a great classic, Space Harrier. These are beautiful soundtracks on vinyl. And I tell you, I find myself listening to these all of the time. So that's why I'm recommending some video game vinyls if you're just trying to find something different for somebody this year. Now, Christmas time is a great time to start a new hobby. It is. What about Dungeons and Dragons? I know there's a lot of people out there that are curious about the game. They've never jumped in. They don't know where to start, where that's where I come in with two of these. These got released this year. They're great ways to start Dungeons and Dragons. The first one here is the Dungeons and Dragons Essential Kit. This is fairly cheap, it's under $20. It has every single thing you need to play Dungeons and Dragons right out of the box. It has dice, it has character sheets, it has the rule books, it has adventures, it has everything. This is a really great way to jump straight in to the adventure. Now, <laughs> For any Rick and Morty fans out there, this just got released, and this is really, really cool. This is Dungeons and Dragons versus Rick and Morty. And what this is, it's another way to play Dungeons and Dragons. And what I really like about this is, if you read through the rule book, it's Rick explaining to you and to myself what Dungeons and Dragons is. And it's a humorous look at the D&D world and how to play it and how you can go around playing it. This is a really nice little way to jump into Dungeons and Dragons if you've never tried the game out and it's a lot of fun. It's humorous. That's where I would say this. This is also under $20. So check this one out for sure. Now, me and my wife were away on vacation this year and we went into a small bookstore store and we found this little gem of a game and I really want to mention this this is a great stocking stuffer it's choose your own adventure house of danger 
but it's not a choose your own adventure book. It's a game. It's a game and everything is included in here. It's for one or more players. There's five chapters where you explore kind of a, a haunted mansion gone wrong, we'll call it. And you play with cards and you get items. It's really a lot of fun and you're kind of gambling choose your own adventuring your way through the game and this was really cool and I don't see a lot of people talking about this game because it is uh, kind of an old school uh, game based on an old school book series but for anybody out there from the 80s or even the 90s I think you really have a lot of fun with this. Okay it's not Christmas without toys and I have to show you guys this. I think for the young of hearts out there, for anybody who grew up in the 80s and 90s, you can find these in your local Walmart. No, no crap, seriously. Reissues of your favorite G1 Transformers, and everybody loves Soundwave. I mean, when I got this, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, this is exactly how it looked in 1987 on the shelves when I'd walk into a store. And so this is a really neat thing to buy somebody, even, you know, um, you know, so anybody who grew up in the 80s and 90s that was a Transformers fan, I think will really appreciate these. But here we go, he's the cassette uh, recorder, but also guess what else comes out? The cassettes themselves. Really, I swear to God, I thought I was living in the 80s again and it felt really good. These are really perfect recreations of the originals. Look at even the back of this one right there. All the original artwork, it looks exactly the same as it did all of those years ago. So for anybody who loves the, you know, Transformers or old school Transformers, you'll really like these. And I gotta show you these because hey, we need to get some books in here as well and some video game books. And these are from Bitmap Books. And here is Sega Master System, a visual compendium. This is a beautiful look at the old school system, the Sega Master System, one of my favorite machines of all time. And it's a beautifully done book where it goes through all of the history of the Master System and every single game. Also from Bitmap Books, uh, Neo Geo, a visual history. This is a wonderful thing for anybody who's an old school Neo Geo arcade fanatic like myself. I've said this is the best Neo Geo book that has ever been made on this planet. You gotta get this for sure. And for people who are even older school, you know, than that, we have the, the CRPG book right here, a guide to computer role playing games. And this is wonderful, especially for me growing up in the 80s, going over to my friend Andrew's house down the road and checking out all the really cool RPGs and video games on the computer at the time. I mean, it was light years ahead of console stuff and I was just like, oh my God, I need to get a computer and I never did. I could only look at my friend playing them and I have a lot of uh, memories with that and a big recommendation for this book. It's really, really nice. And something else here, the Super Famicom box art collection. For anybody who's a fan of the Super Famicom, that is the Super Nintendo in Japan, Oh my God, all of the box art is in here and it is all glorious and it takes you back to the 90s. You might get a small tear. I know I did for sure. And last but not least, just a few movies and one anime to recommend here. Jackie Chan, Please Story, one and two. This is the Criterion Collection. It's been remastered. If anybody's a big Jackie Chan fan, you gotta get this. It looks really, really good. I was impressed because I have all of the Please Stories on Blu-ray and this is by far the best way to watch it. It also has some really good special features in there. And here we go, Alita Battle Angel by Robert Rodriguez and James Cameron. Bringing the manga to live action Oh my God, they did such an amazing job. It looks really fantastic, but it doesn't just look fantastic. It's a really fascinating science fiction movie. And I really, really hope that we get a sequel to this. I'm crossing my fingers that we do, hopefully. Now, here we go. I, I'm recommending one anime for the year. This is a, an anime from 30 years ago. It just came out on Blu-ray. It's one of my high recommendations of the year. I just finished watching it with my wife and she was blown away by it. So I know it wasn't just me, uh, that it's really, uh, it stands the test of time, and that is Mobile Suit Gundam 0080 War in the Pocket. 
And it's about a young boy's uh, view of the war that's going on. He lives in a giant side, a gigantic, uh, you know, floating satellite, basically. And there's a war going on, and he gets involved in the war. And it's not just like a giant robot, uh, you know, fighting giant robot kind of show. It's not about that. It's all about the emotion of the characters. You got to check this out. So guys, I was really excited to come in here and do this episode today to give you guys some recommendations, some gifts that you can buy for your friends and family and loved ones this Christmas. So anyways, guys, have a happy holiday. Until next time.